There's a listener that said, Mike, I know what your problem is. You have to eat one carrot a day. Trust me. This will cure all of your illnesses and all of your problems. One carrot a day. But instead of fighting with this guy, because what's the point? I just immediately went on to Instacart <laughs> and I bought five different bags of carrots. You know why? I enjoy a purchase. So if it means I could open that phone and light off a purchase, I'm in. So please send me emails. The more expensive this stuff, the better. Please, I'm on seed. I'm on every, you know what I did? I just said, what are all the best up? I'm just taking them all. Not reading the instructions, just whatever you fucking have. Send it, I will try it. And I'm feeling amazing. I'll tell you that right now. I'm feeling the best I've ever felt. And I'm very close to being able to make that call to old doctors. The told you so doctor call that I really fantasize about. Or the told you so waiting room announcement. <laughs> oh, yes. I've got a lot of doctor's offices that told me, here we go. Uh, I got to fix that. Uh, told me surgery would be the only way or these very heavy medications. I am proud to say I am off all my hardcore medications. Yes, solving my health problems myself because the doctors couldn't do it. They wanted, you should see the suggestions from the doctors of what they want you to do. They want you to just do the most hardcore thing that they have. Oh, just go into surgery. I'll oh, just cut you up. We'll cut up all your joints and uh, that'll fix it. And then you read every form. Do not get the surgery. I'm in complete hell now <laughs> from the surgery. I said, there's got to be a way of doing this without me having to get naked. That's kind of where I draw the line on this stuff with the doctor. If I have to get naked, that's where I stop, okay? That's like up to the doc. I don't get undressed in front of a doctor. I could never do surgery because you're laying there nude like this. So the whole place is just looking at you. They'd like that, wouldn't they? Not me. Uh, it's just, I, I just can't imagine. I have basically stopped seeing doctors. And I've never been better. So I'm very close to having that thing where I get to go to the waiting room of the most evil, and I've had some evil doctors. I've been in some big doctor-patient fights, you know, where you see nurses, you know, look for the fucking emergency button under a desk. You ever seen the panic in a nurse's face? They stop what they're doing down the hallway to look to see if they have to <laughs> jump behind their counter. Um... Yeah, I've had some uh, doctor-patient run-ins, you know, because I, I can't believe they're feeding me this crap. And, and anybody who's had to go to the doctor like this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And the fact that they could come in, they make you wait for 75 minutes, they come in, and they're looking at their watch after three minutes, itching to get out that door. Taking one step back with every fake laugh, inching to get out that door, and you're going, it's been three. I want you for an hour. You know, they're not listening to a, to a lick of it. You know, they didn't even think. Every doctor I saw told me that diet had nothing to do with it, and there's no facts about diet. It's like, yeah, there's no facts. Be, like your, uh, your drug companies aren't going to go out and study my diet. Why would they do that? So, it, but it's unbelievable how real that is and how many doctors. You know, it's not like I've only seen two doctors in one area. I've seen 31 doctors. <laughs> And lots of areas, and for them to all be the same cold, heartless, uneducated money thieves, it's very, it's almost like, wow, I can see how Kanye is coming up with these conspiracies because uh, how, are, how is this happening? You know how many ERs I've been escorted out of? <laughs> all of a sudden, he could walk. <laughs> um, you should see, I mean, really, I, I got in some big fights. And then, but I, you know, I've, I haven't gotten in any trouble with these doctors because they know. I really try to make them, and you should see the women on the phone. The women on the phone that want to treat me worse than Urban Outfitters people would treat me. You got Urban Outfitters, they're treating you nicer than half these women on the phone at, at the places for the doctor. Do you know how many doctor's offices I've ran out of going, 
Sorry, sorry. He's very sick. Yes. He's very sick. Yes. Sorry, he's in pain. So in pain. I am very close to nearing my fantasy. Attention, people of the whole office. And then tell them how I've healed my disease myself. And if I listened to the doctors, I'd be dead. That's, I can't wait. Guards! You know, what are they going to say? They're going to have me take it out? Um, really do not listen to those people. Well, I don't know what else you're going to do. Because you're not going to, you're not smart enough to do what I've done. So, you're screwed. Um, but, uh, yes, I'm getting, I can't believe how healthy I'm getting. And I'm like, uh, every week now I'm able to just keep throwing more stuff at it. To keep kicking it while it's down, you know? And it's just getting better and you better. You look amazing. Well, wait till you see what I look like in three months, which is all it's going to take for me to go through a total transformation. And um, just very excited to have a second chance at uh, life there. But uh, what was my main point? Yes, I'm listening to all your emails, even the nasty ones. And um, yeah, like the ones, hey, you Eggy kike, ready to talk with me? <laughs> no. Um, okay, let's get into the oh, yeah, fun stuff. 